Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create text shadows using HTML and CSS. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver. And I have my basic setup here. I have an index.html file and a style.css file. Those two are linked together with this link tag in my head section. So once you have all that set up, basically what we're going to do is come down into our body. I'm going to be doing paragraph tags today. So an open paragraph and a closing paragraph because we're dealing with text. Now inside of here you can basically type whatever you want. So we could say like we are writing this because we want to add a shadow to some text. Awesome. That will work. Any text will really work inside of here. Just make sure that you have something long enough that you can actually see the demonstration. So once we do that, I'm just going to take and save this. Now, if you remember, um, and you've been following along with my tutorials, I think about a week ago, I put out a tutorial showing you how to create drop shadows which, with HTML and CSS. Now, you would think if you took and put that drop shadow code on this paragraph line, um, that it would actually add it to the text. Now, um, I'm going to show you why that doesn't work exactly. So we're going to go into our head paragraph tag, and we need to create um, an ID. So I'm going to say ID equals two quotes inside of here. I'm just going to say shadow. Okay. And I'm going to copy that, save this, go over to our style.css. I'm going to put pound sign or hashtag shadow, open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times and closing curly bracket. Now I have my other um, file open from the previous tutorial. So this is our drop shadow code. So I'm just going to copy this. Don't worry if you didn't see that tutorial. Um, I'm not actually going to be using any of this code and when we actually um, add in the text shadow, I'm just doing this kind of as a proof um, of why we cannot use this code. So I'm just going to delete out the height, width, and background color because that would just make it confusing. And I'm going to go over and preview that in Firefox. So you can see if we use just the code that we're using for drop shadows um, that you would normally use to put a drop shadow on a box, um, and you put that on a paragraph tag, which you would think would add it to this text, it actually adds it to the entire paragraph tag rather than what's inside it. So that becomes the problem and the reason why there's a different um, property in order to address just the text. So if I come back over into Dreamweaver, we can get rid of all that code. And there's one line that's going to make the text shadow work in all browsers except Internet Explorer. Uh, I'm sorry, but Internet Explorer <laughs> is very frustrating when it comes to text shadows. And I'll explain the situation uh, once we get it working on all the other browsers. So in here, I'm going to say, we're just going to start with like a font size. So say font size, and then we can just make it really big so you guys can see it. Um, you don't really need to do this step. I just want to make sure that you guys can see it. So let's just make sure that um, everything is working so we can preview that in Firefox. All right, so now we have, that should be big enough for you guys to see. So I can close that up, and I think I hit inspect here. It's okay, we'll go back to code view. There we go. So now what we're going to do is in style. Um, the next thing we can say font family because um, we don't really want the serif to font. So we'll just say font family and we'll go with Arial. That should work. And we can do font weight and just so that we can really get a good shadow, we'll say font weight and we'll go down to bold. So once we have those things set up, you don't really need those in order for it to work, um, but those should help kind of illustrate the point a little bit better. So I'm just going to hit enter, and this is the line of code that you really need to pay attention to. It works much like the drop shadow text, um, it's just a basically a different beginning. So you're going to say text and then a dash shadow, all right, and it even pulls it up here in your code hinting. And I'm going to say colon. And then you're going to have four parameters, just like you did in the drop shadow tutorial. You're going to have your horizontal offset, your vertical offset, your blur distance, and your color of your shadow. All right, so the first thing is basically how far horizontal it's offset. So we're going to say, I don't know, like three pixels. Then we can do the same thing for the vertical offset. The blur distance is basically how much blur you want. Um, so if you really want to make it a wide blur, you can put a higher uh, level. I'm just going to do a smaller blur, so we're going to say two pixels. And then you're going to put a color. Now you can use black, but black under black text um, just becomes kind of a weird effect. I'll show you what it looks like, so we'll just do um, hashtag or um, pound sign, and then we'll just do six zeros, and then a semicolon. We can go over and preview that in Firefox. And you can see this is uh, what you get here. And it's kind of uh, hard to read uh, because we used black underneath black text. And in most cases, you're going to have black text. So what you kind of want to do is come over into your styles. And we're just going to have a pound sign. And then if you type um, 
the hashtag or pound sign, it'll pull up this color box and you can select another color. I'm just going to be going with a light gray, um, so it's hashtag CCC, so three C's. We can save that, go over to our index page and preview it again in Firefox. And this time you can see that we have much more uh, manageable text. You can see that it's got a nice little gray drop shadow. Um, it's not overly complicated. You can kind of tell something's going on, but it's not like too much in your face. So it works really well as a nice little design element. Um, so this is going to be working if we test out in Dreamweaver. Uh, go over to Google Chrome. You can see this is working in Google Chrome. Google Chrome doesn't render text very well, though. It's kind of got a little artifact on it. Then we'll take and go to um, Safari. We can come over and copy this. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open up Safari. And we can paste that right in there. And you can see that our text shadow is also working in Safari. Now the only problem is Internet Explorer because... Come on, Internet Explorer is always the problem. Now, there are some solutions. Um, if you do want to have it working in Internet Explorer, I'll show you that it, it doesn't work. If we go to Internet Explorer, you can see it is very hateful. doesn't work. Um, if you Google it online, you can see that there's a lot of different solutions. Um, I've gone through quite a few of those solutions looking for something that would actually work. Um, basically, you can get it to work, but it really looks terrible. So... Um, I mean, I would rather have no drop shadow on my text than have um, a really bad looking text because it really artifacts the heck out of the text when you, whenever you use some of those um, options. And then there are some more complicated options like using um, JavaScript and jQuery in order to add the shadow on. Um, so if you are interested in those, you can Google them. Um, but as far as what I saw, it, it doesn't seem like it's worth it in order to uh, go through the trouble of uh, using those filters because it usually makes the text look worse in the end. So if we actually take a look at this, you cannot really tell that there's too much of a difference. Um, if you're using the drop shadow as you should be, which is subtly, um, if you switch between browsers, you're not going to see a big difference in the quality. So it's probably not a big uh, deal, but again, if you want to, you can just search on Google and you can use some of the filters that Internet Explorer has um, and good luck with your text. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I do have a new tutorial coming out every week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.